Hello. Good morning, John Benini. Um, I moved this cell outside because it's been below 50 degrees here. So I wanted to cool this cell completely. I want you to see that. And we're outside. And uh, now I'm going to bring it in and test it. And we're going to see what the voltage is on the cell. And then I'm going to do some other experiments for you so you can see what's going on with this. Okay, we're inside now, and I've got it hooked up, and as you can see, you have no LED. Um, this, this cell is uh, around 50 degrees right now. I'm going to show you the voltage. And as it heats up, this voltage is going to go up, and I'm going to show you what, what I'm going to do here. As it comes up to ambient temperature, you can see if I put my hand on it and it emit some heat to it. It uh, starts to climb upward. So I'll be right back. I'm going to show you heating it on the hot plate to 100 degrees. Okay, now I'm on the hot plate with this cell and I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to heat it to about 115 degrees which would be pretty normal if it was in some kind of box in the sun. So. I'll be back with the me measurements, but I want you to see this is on full, and I have a a gun to show you that I'm I'm really heating it, and uh, there's a little laser there, to, so it's. Uh, it's about 87 at the crystal right now. So, and the hot plate, of course, is at 2 oh, See? Well, it's kind of hard to hold the beam on it, but 240, 250. And uh, so we'll just wait a few minutes, and I'll be back. So now I'm back, and I've hooked up the cell, and it's about 100 degrees right here, because I can touch it and hold my hand. And there you go. And the voltage will continue to climb as the crystal heats up. So I wanted to show you this. I want to show you exactly how Epsom salts works in this kind of crystal cell. And there is the voltage, the same as yesterday, and continuing to climb as the crystal heats up. So. My determination is this is very important because this is was in John Hutchinson's mix. And that meant that when the Epsom salts got cold, the cell's power went downward, and when it got warm out, the cell's power went upward. So you can see it right here that, that this is the way that it works. And as this cools off and goes back down to ambient temperature, the LED will go down and the uh, the uh, the voltage will go down but right now it's increasing you can see because the crystal is absorbing the heat and this is just what I thought in my calculations that this is what would happen in this cell with the magnesium and uh, that the electrons would get excited and start kicking off electron flow in the crystal lattice. So this is quite a unique discovery because you can you can make you can use the ambient heat to generate electricity, which is probably a little bit more efficient here than uh, than than what they have for what they call uh, piles that do this, you know, where they take steel and copper wire and then they heat it in a flame. This is far more efficient. This is way up around the 99.9% .9 efficiency factor for the material. And then we're going to do some charting on this because I want to understand everything about the chemical before I try to dope this. But uh, see this is something they never taught you in school. Probably never will because they don't even know about it but they do now. Thank you for watching. And we're going to watch this continue to, uh, to climb and the LED get brighter and brighter. 
and it's climbing. And as it comes back to ambient, why the power is going to come right back down. Thanks again. Glad I could share this with you.